Hi everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Requests and Devotions. I hope everybody's alright this morning on our prayer request. Connie's friend had a great checkup in Rochester. The MRI was clear. Uh, she'll continue with her immunotherapy treatments for the lung metastasis. metastasis. She said thanks for the prayers. Uh, Christy found out she has COVID and she's quarantined. Pray she gets to feeling better and doesn't get worse. Pray for Colleen's oldest daughter and her son. They're looking for suitable housing. Pray for Jason. He's been sick ever since he had COVID. Pray for Jamie to be accepted to a job training program. He has disabilities. Jeff was diagnosed with brain cancer around Thanksgiving. A recent scan showed the brain tumors are shrinking. Amen. And Beth asked for prayers for the firemen that are working continuously on the fires in Texas. Also pray they get them all put out. A female deputy, deputy lost her life in the fires in Texas. Pray for comfort for the family. And Sharon's procedure went fine and she's at home resting. She said thanks for the prayers to everyone. Well, that went right there. Okay, our scripture of the day comes from 1 Corinthians 15, 35 through 44. But someone will ask, how are the dead raised? With what kind of body will they come? How foolish, what you sow does not come to life unless it dies. When you sow, you do not plant the body that will be, be, but just a seed, perhaps of wheat or of something else. But God gives it a body as he has determined, and to each kind of seed he gives its own body. Not all flesh is the same. People have one kind of flesh, animals have another, birds another, and fish another. There are also heavenly bodies, and there are earthly bodies. But the splendor of the heavenly body is one kind, and the splendor of the earthly bodies is another. The sun has one kind of splendor, the moon another, and the stars another. And star differs from star in splendor. So will it be with the resurrection of the dead. The body that is sown is perishable. It is raised imperishable. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. For it is sown a natural body it is raised a spiritual body if there is a natural body then then there is also a spiritual body okay. and our devotion today is entitled rising to dance in a widely shared video an elegant elderly woman sits in a wheelchair once a famed ballet dancer marta gonzalez saldana now suffers from Alzheimer's disease. But something magical happens when Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake is played to her. As the music builds, her frail hands slowly rise, as, and as the first trumpets blast, she starts performing from her chair. Though her mind and body are perishing, her talent is still there. Reflecting on that video, my thoughts went to Paul's teaching on resurrection in 1 Corinthians 15 likening our bodies to a seed that is buried before it sprouts into a plant. He says that though our bodies may perish through age or, or illness, may be a source of dishonor and may be racked with weakness, the bodies of believers will be raised imperishable, full of glory and power. Just as there is an organic link between the seed and the plant, we will be us after our resurrection. Our personalities and talents intact, but we will flourish like, like never before. When the haunting melody of Swan Lake began to play, Marta at first looked downcast, perhaps mindful of what she once was and could no longer do. But then a man reached over and held her hand, and so it will be for us. Trumpets will blast, a hand will reach out, and will rise to dance like never before. What do you look forward to being able to do after the resurrection? 
How can this give you hope for loved ones suffering the effects of age? I praise you, Jesus, that nothing will be lost, but only regained in the future. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anyone out there that's been affected by the virus. And please help this war in Ukraine to end, Lord. And Lord, send I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great morning. And I hope to see you on, uh, later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.